My name is Anastasia Lakshya. I'm an NSI master expert from Moscow, Russia. And today I'm here in NSI headquarters in West Kanchahakan, Pennsylvania, in the United States, standing next to the uh, legend of the nail industry, the name you can find in Wikipedia if you search for acrylic nails, the inventor of the artificial nail enhancements. And today we have a chance to ask some questions from Fred. Uh, Fred, can you tell us the story how it appeared uh, to invent the nails, the real story? Well, the real, uh, the real story is that <coughs> our family has been in the dental business for over 50 years and we, uh, we developed filling materials going back to the late 50s and we were working with one of our filling material products and we uh, decided to try to use that to mend a broken uh, fingernail and the, th the finger was actually bleeding and uh, we discovered that we could use some of our original dental acrylics f to uh, repair nails and that's how we learned about the beginning technology. Fred, you were there from the very beginning, you saw how it all started. What was exactly that moment when you understand like, oh my god, I invented something new, like the whole industry? Well, it was actually, it was, it was not just me, but it was my father, who was a dentist, and uh, we were always working in the field of adhesion, and what we were trying to do is to adhere things to dental enamel, uh, dentin, and in that, uh, in that research and development, we just found that the material that stuck to teeth also would stick to fingernails. And back then, back in the 50s, the nail business didn't really exist. So we, uh, we were in the development side of the business in the late 50s, but it really wasn't until the middle to end 60s that uh, I, myself, and our team came up with what is now uh, the, the nail acrylics. Uh, we developed materials for creative nail design, OPI. We developed and manufactured and sold to most of the nail acrylic companies under the name of Amco International. Uh, but as we were developing new materials, uh, I decided that it was important to start our own company so we could work directly with nail technicians such as yourself uh, because we learn everything regarding nail technology from nail technicians. So about 27 or 28 years ago, uh, our son Rick joined the company and we in fact at that time uh, co-founded the NSI company. Uh, I don't want to do all the talking so you can ask some more questions. Okay, so you were there at the very beginning, so you probably know, like many people who were there also. So what makes NSI so special? What makes it different from other companies? What makes NSI stand apart from other companies is that we are one of the few primary manufacturers where we actually <coughs> react polymers, we actually uh, manufacture and react oligomers that are used in gels, but what really makes us different than other companies is basically you. The nail technician is the key to our success with NSI. Working directly with nail technicians, and as has happened this week, uh, Anastasia has had the opportunity to work with our oligomer chemist, Jay Martin, uh, Bob Maxwell, uh, Maria Bleem, and she is able to actually work with materials on the nails and then go from the uh, R&D lab end to the manufacturing end so that many, many very intricate modifications that need to be made from a nail technician view can be made right here in this b building. And that to me is the, the total key. It's the combination of nail technician, research and development, manufacturing, and of course, looking at color. Okay, and I totally agree, that is so true. And so Fred, what is your vision of the future of the nail industry, let's say next five, 10 years? Well, the, the, the vision 
of nail technology for the future is certainly going to be in what we refer to as the light active or photo active nail business. And that is where we take urethane acrylates, urethane dimethacrylates, various types of oligomers, and we put photo initiators in them, and you can put them under a UV light to polymerize, which you're doing in Russia and throughout the uh, NSI Eastern Europe uh, family of distributors. The future, really in the future, is going to be, in my opinion, uh, LED technology. As you know, uh, UV technology is a broad range and it covers a, uh, a light, and you can actually do a hand at a time, sometimes two, but the UV technology has been around for many years. The new LED technology is a narrow beam technology. It's a lot more complicated, and we're using LED for the gel polishes, uh, but to date there hasn't been a successful system that uses LED light where you can actually build a nail similar to acrylic. So I think that the new technology is going to be being able to have the same ease of application and use that you have with acrylic, but in the gel systems, but you'll be using LED lights, which are very fast, that photopolymerize the product in anywhere from 30 seconds uh, to a minute. Okay, and my last question will be, what is your advice for all of the nail techs? What do they have to do to succeed? Well, the, the nail techs, the most important thing they can do is, is invest their time and energy and money in education. Education is the key. You, Anastasia, have educated all over the world. You've even uh, done some work in China uh, for NSI. But the key, the key for a nail technician is to understand the nail technology from the mechanical application point of view. But it's also very important to ask the manufacturer the critical questions of how does it work? Because the nail technician has been, it has been very, very low on the totem pole relative to the manufacturing saying, manufacturer says, well, it doesn't work properly. It's a time, it's a temperature, etc. You have to get the knowledge from the mechanical application stage, but you also have to ask the manufacturer the tough questions as to what is this material? What does it do? How does it work? Why doesn't it work? And to me, it is the it is the technician that is going to drive the industry. And what we're trying to do here at NSI is we're bringing in technicians every three months, such as yourself. We hope to have you here at least once a year so you can advise the research and development department, Bob, Maria, Jay, myself. You can say, well, can you change this? Can you add this? Can you delete this? Or can you, can you, can you, do something that's totally different and it, it really is a result of the technician dreaming up new ideas, new ways of doing products and working directly with the research development and manufacturing part of the company. I know that's a long answer. Thank you Fred for the interview and um, just stay hungry for the knowledge and you will succeed. That was uh, Fred Slack, the president of NSI company and the inventor of an acrylic nail extensions and Anastasia Luxia. Thank you.